going on everybody, it's your boy the Slap Train. Welcome back guys, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 back on the channel for today. Now it's been a long time since we played this game, so if you want to see some more, make sure you guys slap that like button, show me the support in the comment section down below. I just finished my coilover install video this morning at 10, and I was fiending for some more Car Mechanic Sim, so I figured why not hop on the game man now today uh we have double the experience what i just had last episode i've been grinding it out doing these jobs over and over and over and over again man they are getting repetitive i'm not gonna lie to you um the first 1000 you know to 3000 x speed grind is very 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 time consuming you're doing the same cars almost all the time and it's just, oh my god, you know what I'm saying? It gets a little bit repetitive sometimes. But at the end of the day, though, this is a very fun and relaxing game. Now, we do have this car right here. I just was able to buy it, or not buy it, but actually repair it. It almost kind of reminds me of a nice little Honda Civic. And what's also nice about Car Mechanic Sim is they just brought out a brand new DLC earlier in the week. Now, this DLC... Um, is included with, uh, I think, about two to 300 different aftermarket parts on the car. So if we go here, we're going to close this and shut your ass up, phones. Don't worry about it. We have some rims now. We have a whole slew of different rims. I'm pretty sure these are all new. Um, we've also got uh, these parts shops here, I think. I think these were already in last update. But the new ones, though, the tuner shops, ladies and gentlemen, we have brand new bumpers, headlights, taillights, the whole nine and lots of them we have hoods front bumpers i mean i don't know when i'm gonna be able to use these i'm hoping very soon uh if you guys want to let me know you know how much xp do i really need before it's gonna say you know replace the rims you know do this do that you know take off the bumpers stuff like that let me know in the comment section down below ladies and gentlemen but we're gonna get right into this here and oh my god look at this front spring outer tire rod outer tire rod rear shocks Rear suspension arm, rubber bushing, small rubber bushing. Whew. It's going to be a big day, man. Let's go ahead and fill up our lot, first of all. So let's move this over to the left lifter. And I got to say, I've missed this game. I've actually missed this quite a bit. Uh, the main thing, though, is I want to start using these new cars, man. I want the damn Corvette. I want the Nova, the Chevelle, whatever you want to call that. But I want them, man. We're so close. We are less than 1,000 XP away from getting it so i'm hoping today maybe we can get it and if you guys do want to see some more of this make sure you guys slap that like button like i told you guys earlier man just just listen that's all you gotta do man. now earlier in the week um the steam box got announced and i wanted to talk a little bit about that today you know i don't have too much knowledge on the steam box from what what i've read on gamestop um is that it's going to be a very beastly system and almost as expensive as a home computer from what I've read uh, they range anywhere up to $450 in price and all the way up to are you ready for this five thousand dollars ladies and gentlemen who needs a steam box for five grand what the hell are you gonna do with that thing that a PC couldn't do and I understand you know they're trying to appeal to the people that just want to sit on a couch but at the same time though why the hell are you sitting on a couch for a damn steam box why don't you just go out and get a console for the same amount of money it just doesn't make any sense to me now if you guys want to pitch in your two cents about the steam box leave them in the comment section down below ladies and gentlemen because honestly i don't know how anybody can justify spending two thousand dollars on a damn steam box like really it's absolutely insane i don't see it happening anytime soon for myself at least car is loud are you serious? What the hell do I gotta do? It's gotta be something to do with the suspension, but what do you mean car is loud? We're gonna have to take this thing out for a test drive, apparently. I have not taken a car out for a test drive in a long time, so that's gonna be pretty damn cool. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I mean, this game has some serious potential. I just wish that it kind of got more intuitive as you went on you know you unlock things faster stuff like that but again that's also the fun in playing the game now what do i do i just change or yeah i just dropped the oil filter um i'm going to need a new filter before we put damn any oil in so let's go ahead and do that excuse me damn honda civics appreciate it i'm tempted to put a front bumper on i have 57 
hundred dollars. I know, man. I got money right now. I'm pretty happy about that. For all you guys that said episode one in 2014 that the shop was not gonna, you know, do well. We were gonna go under because I was just spending too much damn money. Look at us now, man. We're doing big things right now, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing big things with fifty-seven hundred dollars. And I forgot to put the new damn thing in before. Oh my god! I lowered the car before I put the new oil filter in. Slap logic right here, man. Slap damn logic. Now, in my video earlier today, uh, I had some really funny comments regard- Oh, I guess I didn't even need to change the oil filter. Or I already bought one. I must have already bought one. That's my second oil filter. I don't really know exactly what just happened right there. I'm losing my damn mind. How did that already get- Oh, my God. Unless that was from my old job earlier. And that's one of the biggest things, guys. Make sure- you are selling your parts after your jobs are completed because you could be throwing in more parts than you really need. I've been doing a good job with keeping the money, you know, somewhat in the positives when I'm doing these jobs, and I'm getting about fifteen to a thousand dollars per job, so it's not bad at all. So that is done. Now the biggest thing that we're going to need right now. Did I do this for the wrong car? Ladies and gentlemen, I just did this for the wrong damn car. Why do we have two Honda Civics in the bay? Oh my god. What are the chances of that? How did I, I did it for the wrong car? Oh my god. I cannot believe I just did that, man. I took off the same oil filter and I put it right back in. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There we go. Appreciate it. Brand new. Set your ass down now. Can't believe that. It's all good though, man. It's all good. Now, as I was saying, though, in my earlier video today, people were saying, you know, Slap, did Car Mechanic Simulator help on your install for the coilovers? And, I mean, honestly, um, I mean, to an extent, I mean, obviously, it's nothing like real life, guys. You got to understand that. There's a lot more things you got to do. You know, bolts don't want to go in always. You got to align different things. You know, the added strength of holding the parts up. It's just, it's nothing like Car Mechanic Simulator, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely nothing but, I mean, to an extent, all the parts are the same. Just depends on the type of car that you have, the year, suspension setup, you know, double wishbone, stuff like that. Um, we're going to need to actually take this thing out for a spin. And I can just get rid of this if I really want to. I mean, I could just say, screw it, take your car back. It's still loud. I don't know. You know what? Let's see if we can take it for a drive, first of all. Let's see what we can do. Uh, test path. Nope, I can't do test path. What if we close the hood? Then can I do test path? No, I can't do that either. Um, okay. Car should be able to run. There should be no reason why. Let's do this. Let's move it to the center. Place occupied. What? Oh, hello. What's up? All right. That's not going to happen then. Um, why can't I move this? I wonder. There's got to be a reason on why I can't move that over there. That's okay though. We're going to see if we can examine underneath of it. And this game has a lot of problem solving sometimes, and as you actually get more in depth with the game, you do realize, you know, how tough this game can be sometimes, especially without this examine mode. If you didn't have this examine mode, um, I think the game would be, you know, one million times harder. You'd actually have to physically take off different parts and things like that. I'm not seeing anything in the red whatsoever. Nothing. So, with that being said, I don't want to waste too much time on this car, just because if it's loud, I mean, lady, you didn't say anything, you gave me no, you know, information, is it the wheel bearings, I don't know, which usually is the cause of most of those, but I can't even take it for a damn test drive, man, that's the problem right now, like, I just, I just want to drive the car, lady, I, I mean, I don't know why I'm thinking, like, it's a lady's car, yeah, uncompleted job is finished, might as well, give me my money, thank you. Uh, but what, what the hell do we got to do on this thing? Front spring, tire rod, oh my god. All right, let's get this in the air, and let's get to work on it. It's a lot, man. Now, as I was saying about that steam box, um, it's supposed to come out, I think, November the 10th for the States, and October 16th for Canada, and for overseas. Now, personally, why is Canadians getting everything pushed back? I can see overseas, you know, just because the fact that it is a little bit farther away. We got a lot to do on this thing, man. We got a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh my god, dude. Might as well start it, though. Let's get this stuff off. Here we go. But yeah, so I mean, as I was saying, though, I mean, the Steam Box, like, 
just seems like everything nowadays, you know, Canada's getting everything last. I mean, Project Cars, obviously, um, with that, I think Europeans got that first and then states in Canada afterwards. But I just don't understand the actual delay for Canada with the Steam Box. Just does not make any sense whatsoever. Um, if you guys want to fill me in on that, let me know your thoughts on that by all means in the comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen. But it doesn't make any sense to me. Why when it's like just across the border? You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make any damn sense at all. Uh, spring definitely needs to be replaced. Look at that thing, man. It's red. Give me that, man. Can I have that, please? Excuse me. Be great. Take that off the strut. Oh, we got that other bolt. There we go. There we go. Yep, yep. Take it off. Appreciate it. Now, I will say as well, too, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed this or not, but look at how fast these bolts are going off, ladies and gentlemen. I do have a power damn tool right now. I got power tools in this bitch. Um, I don't actually have power tools, but I did go ahead and head over to this little toolbox right here, and it did give me fast unbolting. Now, I actually have another part available. So, fast manual examination, fast assembly and disassembly. Uh, repair tool level 1, 50% chance of repair. That sounds pretty damn cool. Tablet. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, OBD scanner, compression tester, electronic meter. Now, I don't really need any of those right now. I'm wondering if there's anything else that I can buy. What about this toolbox? Anything different? Of course not. Let's go fast assembly and disassembly. I mean, personally, I don't see that being needed, but uh, I guess we're going to go for it anyways. Now, where's my condition here? Uh, I was still working on this back tire, if I'm not mistaken, or I just finished that. Let's do the front tire, man. Let's go. Let's get this thing off. Now, this game is time-consuming. You know, I spend about an hour and a half or so getting up to about another thousand XP. And, I mean, I gotta say, I I'm just excited to get through this game and really see what I can do after we really dive into it. That's, that's my biggest thing. Because, obviously, this game has so much to offer, but it's so hard to get it there. And it just, it does take time. You know, you gotta be a little bit patient. And that's really the name of the game, is patience. We got another damn outer tire rod. Look at this thing, man. They're all broken. Reminds me of my damn car, man. Probably gonna need the same damn thing. And, I mean, I wish it was as easy as this. I really do. Imagine if life was this easy. Don't have to do any lifting whatsoever. All from the home of your damn computer. Oh my god, that is car mechanics in the future right now. Doing everything from a machine and just telling it what to do. That would be impressive. Almost kind of weird too, I'm not going to lie. Uh, what the hell is going on right here? Give me that, give me that, and give me that. I need that thing, man. Look at how rusty that is. What are you doing? Storing your car underneath the damn grass? Or on top of grass? Whatever, man. What else do I need? Is that it? I love this examine mode, man. It's almost kind of cheap, to be honest with you, but I don't care, man. Ask me if I care. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Ask me. I don't give a shit, man. I'm using it. They gave it to me. I'm using this examine mode. We're going to get this top plate off here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Give me this strut right here. Thank you. And anything else at all. Examine mode. Oh, we got a little damn bushing right here. Look at that thing. Tit it. I just want that bushing off. That's all I want. We gotta take off the whole damn strut and everything on the back. That's all right. Come off now, man. All right, we got that, and that should be everything that we're gonna need off the car. Should be. Now, for you guys that have issues, you know, trying to get the right parts back on and off the car, I'm gonna show you guys a very simple way to do. It. At least that I found that has worked. And you know. And then, I mean, in this game, time is a factor. Well, not really a factor, but why can't I jump? That'd be nice if I could jump. I can't even move. Am I stuck? Oh, there we go. It's getting a little bit nervous, man. I thought I was stuck. So what I do right here is I come through, and uh, that we already did. That we already did. So you sell the parts that you've already done. That's what I was saying before. Make sure you guys sell your things that you don't need so that way you don't get mixed up. So here I need an outer tire rod. So let's just go in here quickly and go to running gear. And we're just going to grab our outer tire rod. Boom! Hit escape real quick. Hit I. And we go find the next part. Front spring. That's a rear spring. There we go. Front spring. Boom! Go back. And we're going to need another outer tire rod. Should have got them at the same time. And I wasn't paying attention. 
And then now we're going to need a rear suspension arm A and a rear shock. Let's just go at the same time here. Rear suspension arm A. Rear suspension arm A before I forget. Oh, man. Please don't make me forget. Rear suspension arm A. There we go. There we go. And a rear shock, was it? Rear shock A. Got to make sure you get those right, man. You don't want to be buying wrong damn parts whatsoever. That's just a problem. Um, where is it? Rear shock A, right there. Rear shock A. We got that. Maybe I didn't need that. Why did I buy that? No, that's the parts menu. Alright, rear shock A. I need a shock absorber cap. And a small rubber bushing. That's it, I believe. Rear shock absorber cap and a small rubber bushing. Let's go ahead and grab those. Oh, that's a that, that's a front man. I need rear right now. Where's where's the rear at? Uh oh, there it is. Boom! We should be good. Let's go back. We're gonna give this lady her damn car back, man. Hopefully sooner than later. Look at this damn thing, man. Look how much work I gotta do on this thing. All for a damn civic. It doesn't even look nice. Alright, we need to go to assemble mode. And now we're just gonna start throwing parts on, man. And this is what I like because it kind of guides you in where you need to go. And I mean, let's be honest. If you had to do this all manually, I mean, it would be a long damn time, man. It really would be. So I'm glad that they've done it kind of like this. Just makes it a lot easier. You know, you can kind of see what needs to go back in. Come on, little bolt. Appreciate it. Get that rear cup back on. And what's next here? They got the tie rods. Boom. Put that back in. And then what else do we need here, man? Oh, there's that other guy. Front sway bar and link. Pop that sucker on. Now, as well, too, guys, um, I'm in the midst of downloading something pretty big that you guys may be interested in. I don't know if you guys remember way back in the day on the channel, you know, say the golden years, I've been told, on the channel of Midnight Club LA. Take that in for one second, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I said Midnight Club LA. All right, now I went ahead and bought it on PS3 for the simple fact that I can, I'm almost 100% on this, I can use my Thrustmaster wheel with Midnight Club. How exciting is that right now, ladies and gentlemen? For those of you guys that are fans of Midnight Club, um, I may be bringing it back. I'm going to see how it feels with the wheel, but I may be bringing back a Let's Play on Midnight Club with the wheel. I know, man. It's going to be absolutely insane. We may switch it up, you know, do one with the wheel, one without the wheel. Let me know your thoughts on that if you guys are fans of Midnight Club and do want to see that series make a return um, because I am definitely, this may be my tires I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a phone call to see if I can come up, please. So that phone call was for my rims and tires. Oh my God, man. I cannot believe the turnout on those 275s on the rear. Just absolutely gorgeous. Could not have expected a better turnout, to be completely honest. We have a car vlog video going up on Sunday for you guys. Um, so look forward to that. My uploads have just been all over the place this weekend just because of the, you know, the car stuff. And it does take a little bit, man. Once you are, you know, trying to work on your car, it does take a toll. And what was that? Oh my god, we are flying right now. Acceleration, we're in a slalom right now, looks like. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm gonna find this bushing like this though. I'm trying to worry about oh look at these bumps. God and last braking test. Not too shabby, man. Hell yeah. Took that thing all the way around there. Gotta say the physics are not bad on this game, and they're absolutely not bad. But this week, though, as I said, uh, we will be getting back to schedule on Monday. I do talk about that in the car vlog video on Sunday. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy the car mechanic simulator for today. Something new, something different. And if you guys want to see more, don't forget to slap that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Um, looks like our looks like everything's good, man. There's no there's no reason why the car should have any issues whatsoever. And this is the problem with this damn game, man, is problem solving right now. And rubber bushing, I mean, I don't know. Car looks good to me. There's not really anything 
that's wrong with the vehicle, even when we get it up in the air, I don't see any red whatsoever on those bushings. And there's a lot of damn bushings, man. I ain't going through all of them one by one. That's just damn too damn time consuming. Um, let's see here. We're going to go to, let's go toggle conditions and let's just see if we can see any red. And my eyes don't see any red. I'd like to know if you guys do. And if I'm just blind, you know, let me know, please. And that's the problem though. Those bushings, you can't really see them. That's the real problem. Now, if I look, maybe, maybe I can see the bushings from there. Let's just take it out, man. We're going to see. Tell me that was a good one. Did I find a bad one? Oh, man, it's 87%. I'm never going to find this bushing. Absolutely never. Uh, I'm going to have to put it back in, though. So let's go assemble. Thank you. Put that sucker back in. All right. So, yeah, I really do not know where this bushing is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to help me out, let me know in the comment section down below. Where, like, what? Do I got to take them off one by one? I really don't know at this time. Um, it's more of a guessing game, to be completely honest, because they all look good. I don't see any reason why any of these bushings are bad. And that's where the part where I'm kind of getting a little bit um, confused, if you will. I don't see a damn thing. Music stopped. Game's about over, really. I mean, geez. We have two bushings right there as well, too. I mean, yeah, it could be any bushing at this point in time. I'm not going through all of them. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. If you... Actually, you know what? Let's just finish the damn job, man. Get this thing out of here. Give me my $411. I don't think I got any experience whatsoever on that. Doesn't matter, man. Just wanted to get that piece of junk out of here. Look at that, though. We can get the brand new Moolunch or whatever the hell that is. Oh, my God. I'm going to sit here, do some more jobs. Thank you very much for coming around to the channel today. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Engine. Hello there. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, guys very much for watching today if you guys enjoyed the episode don't forget to slap that like button show me the support in the comment section down below chibota slap trade i'm out peace